Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up the new Google Chromecast with Google TV to your TV. So just to make sure you have everything out of the box, we have the Chromecast device itself. We have the remote that also comes with a couple of AAA batteries. We have the wall power adapter, and then we have the power cord itself, which is USB on one side and USB type C with this end going into the Chromecast itself and this end, of course, going into the adapter. And then we also have our instructions to get started. And again, I'm gonna walk you through these step-by-step -step with step number one being plug in the Chromecast to your HDMI port on your TV. And then you wanna switch the TV input to that HDMI input that you put your Google Chromecast into. And then you want to put the batteries into the Google Chromecast remote. And then the last step here is getting the Google Home app and following the steps on your TV and in the application. And again, guys, I'm gonna walk you through all of these steps to get you started. And we'll start with step number one here, which is plugging the Google Chromecast into the HDMI port on your TV. So step one is gonna be taking the power adapter and of course, putting one end into an outlet and then take the power cord. And this end is gonna go into that power adapter and then the other end, of course, is gonna be going into our Chromecast after we put the Chromecast into the HDMI port of the TV. So we'll take you over to that step next. So on our TV, we need to locate the HDMI ports and then we take our Google Chromecast and we're gonna go ahead and put that into one of the HDMI ports and make sure you take note of which HDMI port it is if it's listed. So for me, it's gonna be HDMI one. Gonna go ahead and plug it in. And then we take the other end of our power cord and we're gonna go ahead and plug that in to the bottom of our Chromecast. And then the next step is gonna be finding the proper input on your TV. So I have a Roku TV and I added the HDMI ports to my apps page. So it's just simply the HDMI one option here. It's gonna likely be a little bit different for you based on what kind of TV you have, but oftentimes on your remote, you're gonna have a button that has something listed as either HDMI or it might say source or input, whatever button it is on your remote, you can typically cycle through the inputs on your TV and that will allow you to get over to HDMI one. So we're gonna open things up here with that HDMI one input. And the next step is going to be pairing our remote. So we take our remote and we open up the back and then we're gonna put those two AAA batteries in the back of our remote. And once I put the batteries in the remote, it actually paired with the TV automatically. But if it doesn't do that for you, just follow the on-screen instructions. And now we're going to go through the step-by-step -step process of setting things up on the screen itself. So then on the welcome screen, go ahead and select the language that you want to use for your Google Chromecast. For me, it's going to be English, United States. So on your Chromecast remote, go ahead and click the select button, which is the little circle on the top of your Chromecast remote. And then you're going to have a couple of different options here. So first and foremost, the quicker way is going to be setting up with the Google Home application. So basically on your smartphone, go and download and open the Google Home app on your phone to get started. When instructed in the app, scan the QR code that is located on your screen. So that is one way you can go about doing this. You can also set it up manually and you do this by clicking the down portion of the navigation wheel that's on the top of your Chromecast remote and then clicking set up on TV instead and click the select button at the top of your Chromecast remote to open up that option. And then it's gonna prompt you to select your Wi-Fi network. So for me, this is gonna be called XFi 22 and it's gonna be different for you. It's just based on whatever your wireless router is named. And then it's gonna prompt you to enter in the password for your Wi-Fi router. And once you have the password typed in, click the little arrow that's pointing it to the right. That's gonna be the enter option. And then it's gonna to connect to your wireless Wi-Fi router as long as you typed in your password correctly and picked the proper wireless router. And then it should connect eventually. And after you successfully put in your internet connection, it's gonna wait a little bit and then it's gonna start downloading a system update for your Chromecast with Google TV. And then the Chromecast itself will restart after it goes through that system update. And then after reboot, it's going to install the system update. And then after the installation, your Chromecast will reboot again, and then it will reestablish your network connection. 
and then it's going to ask us to sign in to our Google account. So enter in your Google account's email and click next. If you don't have a Google account, you can go down and click the create account option. I'm assuming most of you guys probably have Google accounts, especially if you have an Android phone, for instance. So enter in that Google email and then go to the next option and click enter and then enter your password and click enter again. And then it will ask you to accept the terms of service, the play terms of service, as well as the privacy policy. So you can select those and read through them if you want. And if everything looks good to you, go ahead and click where it says accept. And then it will ask you to agree to the additional legal terms. You can read over those as you please. And then if everything looks good there, go ahead and click I agree. And then it gives you some different options here with Google service. It can use your location. You can help improve Chromecast by automatically sending diagnostic information to Google. And once you have the thing selected that you want, go ahead and click accept. And then it asks us if we want to get product emails from Google. So if you want, you can sign up. If not, click no thanks. And then it's going through a Google Assistant tutorial. You can open up Google Assistant on your Chromecast remote by clicking the little Google Assistant button, which is actually the only button that's colored black as opposed to the other buttons that are colored white. And Google Assistant will allow you to find shows, movies, music, and more. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And if you want, this is another option that you have to either allow or not allow search across all of your apps for Google Assistant. And basically what this is going to do is it allows it to share your requests with your TV's app. So if you want that on, you can have it on. If not, you can click no thanks. And at this point, it's going to ask you to select your services. So the applications that you like to use, YouTube is already pre-selected, but I'm also going to want to have Hulu as well as Netflix. Maybe Pandora if I want to listen to some free music and also potentially HBO Max. So then once I have all of the services that I want selected, we go over and click confirm. And then on this page, it's giving you the option if you want to set up your Chromecast remote with your TV. And this will allow you to control your TV's volume as well as power. A really nice option to have. You can click the setup remote option there or click the not now option if that's not something that you're interested in setting up at this point. And if you need further help setting up your remote with your TV, I'll have a separate tutorial video on how to do that linked at the top of the video description if you want to check that out. But for the time being, I'm going to continue on with the setup process. And once it downloads all of the apps that you had selected, it's now bringing us to a page that says your Chromecast with Google TV is ready. So we're going to go ahead and click start exploring. And for those of you who have used an Android TV device in the past, you can see that the menu is laid out in a similar way over here on Google TV. It's going to have the top picks for you. It's going to have your apps listed right here and then also trending on Google and some other filter options as you work your way down the menu. And then also at the top, we have the search option if we want to look for something specifically. And we can also check things out over on the apps page to find exactly what apps that we might want to add to our Google Chromecast device. So I hope this video was helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up your Chromecast with Google TV. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing and I'll catch you back here next time.